this is Pat Salver with Dr. Wei Zin, and we're filming at HealthBeat in San Francisco. And I just moderated a panel on the new economics of healthcare. And one of my panelists, Frank Williams, who's the founder and CEO of Evolent, as in benevolent, because yeah, yeah. <laughs> I keep saying Evolent. It's not Evolent, guys. It's Evelyn. Um, and Evelyn is in the business of helping healthcare systems transform into the new delivery models. So, Frank, tell me what you're up to. Sure. I mean, if you think about this transition for health systems, uh, they need to set a strategy for moving towards value-based care that's both clinical transformation and it's financial transformation. And, and value-based care, a.k.a. capitation, right? Yeah, I think it is getting uh, paid for performance. And if you think about making those economics work for a large health system, it really is getting a large portion of the premium dollar and managing that better through more integrated care, leveraging the large physician networks that they've built along with full continuum of care. And so we're really trying to provide the consulting technology and then all the work that they would need to do in terms of the day-to-day -day management of patients, of members, if they were to launch their own health plan, by providing uh, long-term operational support to those organizations through the transition. So you make it sound easy, but I know that it's not only not easy, but it's very expensive. Um, I've done some work with physician groups, and we've calculated that for a physician group to have a have an ACO that's led by a physician group, it, it's about a million dollars to get yourself to the point where you could actually deliver on something. You're working mainly with hospital systems. Tell me a little bit about, um, you know, how the economics, oh, not, not the economics of healthcare, but the economics of doing this transition work for them. Yeah, well, it's interesting. If you do the analysis of organizations heading in this direction, you think about their opportunity in Medicare Advantage, uh, in uh, the exchanges uh, in commercial, in some cases, it's a $500 million to over a billion dollar premium opportunity. So if you think about launching a business of that magnitude, it does take a lot of money and it takes tens of millions of dollars in investment to potentially uh, set up the business for success long term. And that's everything from putting in place the right technology platforms, it's putting in place the physician organization, it's thinking through how you have people, process, and technology to support all the things that you want to do. But it is not an easy journey. It's actually quite a complex one and one that's going to happen over multiple years, but a massive opportunity for health systems to reshape their economics as they see declining reimbursement on the inpatient side. So these systems really do believe that they'll be able to, to, to reap the benefits of the transition despite this huge investment. Do you have any organizations that have actually got, gotten far enough along that they're starting to see a return? Yeah, you know, we're working with a number of health systems that really have seen tremendous results. Uh, with MedStar in the Mid-Atlantic region, uh, we've been able to start with their employee population and take their trend from a positive 7% to negative trend. Uh, so that's created a lot of value with their own employee population. If you look at IU Health in Indianapolis, uh, we're working directly with the physicians on clinical management. So we have 90 people on the ground doing care management, leveraging our technology, and we've seen massive improvements in some of the larger outcomes metrics that you would look at for the population. So we believe that if you build a care model around the physician uh, and engage them effectively, that you can dramatically reduce costs and improve quality. And then the other piece of it is making sure you get enough lives to support that. And again, with IU up to about 100,000 lives that they're managing now, you look at WakeMed in North Carolina, we've just done a delegated deal with a number of payers in the market that will suddenly get them a pretty significant delegated cap, and that's engaging the physician. So it really is bringing those two things together, but we're seeing a lot of early success. Um, well, it's really exciting because uh, I think that we're at an incredible tipping point in healthcare where we really are going to walk away from our old way of doing things and we're going to have a, a, a new way of doing things. So I really want to thank you very much for joining us and for, I think even more importantly, for forming Evelyn, <laughs> and, well well and for doing uh, the work that you do because it's so important. So thank you very much, Frank. Thank you.